Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. This watercolour painting demonstration time lapse is of a loose watercolour puppy dog. It's actually from my series of watercolour paintings that's called Autumn. I had anticipated when I planned such a series that I would mostly be painting uh, autumnal trees and pathways and that sort of thing. But when I came across this sweet little autumn coloured dog, I absolutely couldn't resist. I started sketching him out straight away directly onto my watercolour paper, which if you've watched me before, you'll know that's what I tend to often do. Sometimes when I'm feeling a little bit more patient and diligent, I will start with a quick little sketchbook sketch just to get my hand used to drawing the shapes. But with this little guy, I just couldn't wait. So I went straight in and started drawing on the paper. And I know there are a lot of watercolour artists who are a lot more particular about taking care of their paper in the early stages of the painting than I am. Um, you'll see I don't usually bother to stretch the paper. Uh, that's partly impatience, I have to admit. I do it sometimes, but that's usually just because I like the clean borders that uh, happen when you tape off the edges. But I find that in my loose style, uh, a little bit of warping and buckling doesn't really bother me too much. And that once the painting is finished and dried, if it has warped a little bit, um, you can just leave it under a nice heavy pile of books overnight and it's perfectly fine. And if it's a painting you love and you end up popping it in a frame, that's going to flatten it out completely too. So uh, I don't bother too much about stretching the paper or taping the paper. And I also don't worry too much uh, about being very careful with my drawing. I don't do a detailed drawing because I find that makes it harder for me to stay loose when I'm painting and um, that's obviously my absolute favourite thing is a loose style of watercolour painting. So I know I'm only going to put down a couple of sketch lines anyway so I just go right ahead and sketch lightly on the paper and erase and there is a risk that that might damage some of the paper, but to be honest, that's I, I've never found that to be a particular problem. And then once I've got my rough sketch, uh, I go ahead and start adding colours, paying particular attention to where I think the lights and darks are, because really, I think if you can get the lights and darks in the right spots, you've got a successful painting. And something as delightful as this little puppy uh, is a joy to paint. So popping in all his little lights and darks and fluffy bits of fur uh, is such a joy. I'm going to play a little bit of music and let you watch me finish off the painting. If you're enjoying what you're seeing, please don't forget to like and comment. And don't hesitate to ask me any questions you've got about the painting process in those comments and I'll do my best to answer. Oh, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you want to see some more. See you next time.